Good evening and welcome to 10's big game here at Penrith Park. I'm Graham McNeese, filling in for a rather sick Ray Warren, who's at home in bed. Ray has fallen victim to the current epidemic of the virus, which has hit Sydney. I hope you're better shortly, Rabs, and you're back with us next weekend. Well, I think you're in for a match that you're going to enjoy. It's between the local side Penrith and Cronulla. Cronulla don't have an imposing record here at Penrith Park, but they're out to atone for all that. It's going to be a great match. Keith Barnes joins me as the players take the field. The Panthers taking the field now, led by their skipper, Darrell Broman, and uh, particularly confident, right? And they have every reason to be, too, because they scored a pretty good win last week over the Steelers down at Wollongong. And they have an impressive record against Cronulla here at uh, Penrith Park. On camera at the moment was Craig McAlpine, a player in the halfback spot that they've got from Brisbane this year, a particularly talented player and one that uh, Penrith have big hopes for. The team, Levy, McMahon, Wright, Flay, Wolf, Izzard, another very promising 5'8". McAlpine, a good pack of forwards with Fenton, Platt, Zivanovic, Broman, Simmons and Jones. That's a pretty uh, well-balanced pack. They've got uh, Broman, of course, a very talented ball player. Luke Platt's a strong runner. And uh, Zivanovic, a player who thrives on uh, his defence. McAlpine on camera at the moment uh, from the Brothers Club. Very talented player. Uh, in the middle we have Steve Rogers and uh, Daryl Broman for the toss. And the Cronulla team on... Uh, on, uh, at the moment, Mullane, Jarvey, Rogers, Gardner, Burke, Forrest, Haddock, Nixon, Sorensen, the great Kurt Sorensen, Hatch, his brother Dane, Roland Beckett and McNamara. On camera at the moment, the player that we're spotting, Perry Haddock, the 1980 country player of the year in his second season with Cronulla. Very talented player, one of the shortest players in the game, but certainly has a lot of spark to this Cronulla side. Referee Chris Ford for tonight's match as Rogers kicks off well into Penrith territory. And running the ball up to the uh, quarter mark there was uh, Craig McMahon. And there's a penalty straight away. Penalty against Cronulla. And Levy comes up to the quarter to find touch. Well, I said earlier on, uh, Keith, that uh, Cronulla didn't have an imposing record here at Penrith Park. They certainly don't because uh, they haven't won since what, 1978, I believe. No, but they're in pretty good form. They had a good win against Balmain last week, and there's a lot of great players in the side. Probably a bit more class than in the Penrith side. Certainly Steve Rogers, arguably the best centre or the best rugby league player in the world at the moment, and uh, the Sorensen brothers in the pack. But Penrith starting off with, uh, you know, in great uh, heart at this stage. OK, Platts has taken a uh, tackle there with the ball inside the Cronulla territory. The ball is spread out now. This time to Jones, rather to uh, the hooker, Simmons. Oh, a small for uh, the hooker, isn't he? Yes, he is very nuggety and gets uh, Penrith a good share of possession. The player in possession at the moment, Fenton, is also a very talented player. OK, Fenton gets up, plays the ball back to Levy at dummy half. He turns it to Broman. Broman turns the ball back inside there to uh, Jamie Jones as the referee signifies last tackle. Ball spread out across the uh, back line and kicking forward there is Fred Izzard and it finds cut. Good kick there by uh, Izzard. And a scrum will form inside the Cronulla quarter. Uh, it's still nil all. We've only had, uh, we're only seconds into the, into the first half. Okay, Haddock sees this scrum. And it's a Cronulla ball, but the penalty has ruled, but the referee has ruled a penalty against Penrith. Coming up to find touch is Rogers. And he does just, uh, just outside the Cronulla quarter. Now to take the tap is Sir Beckett. Turns it back to Sorensen. Sorensen barging forward and is eventually brought down. Turns the ball back inside. Back to his brother, brother Sorensen. Looks to offload and... Oh, yes, he's regained possession. OK, the ball's fed across the back line. This time it's out to uh, Nixon. He's eventually brought down. Haddock. Tries to go his own. But uh, to no avail. OK, we've got Beckett with the ball. Just outside the uh, halfway mark on Cronulla's side. Cronulla on the attack. The player there 
the question. David Hatch tackled around the head. Now Haddock endeavours to find touch, and he does so. Nice kick forward there by Haddock, and the scrum will form just outside the Penrith quarter. Time. It's a penalty to Cronulla, and it's against the halfback for uh, Penrith, Craig McAlpine. Incorrect speed. I don't think there was too much about that either, uh, uh, Graham. It was uh, obviously testing the referee out and see his reaction to that. Because, uh, he would be well advised to make sure that he puts the ball in straight in situations like this, because Cronulla have a lot of good set plays from uh, attacking plays from the area such as this, and most of them involve big Kirk Sorensen and his brother Dane. Uh, speaking of Sorensen, he goes hard for the line. He's only a metre out. Taps forward and tries to over, but the referee has ruled penalty against Sorensen. And a penalty to Penrith this time. Yes, he ruled incorrect uh, playing of the ball there, and it was certainly a welcome relief for Penrith. I've just got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of kicking in this game. Uh, tactical kicking, I mean. Both uh, teams well equipped in this department, of course. Uh, Penrith particularly well equipped with Mark Levy, Grauman, Izzard and McAlpine. Mm. And I should imagine that uh, Levy and uh, McAlpine in particular will be looking to uh, keep Cronulla's fullback, Nick Mullane, back into his own territory because when he's allowed to get up into the back line, he can be a very dangerous attacking player. OK, Zabanovic plays the ball now. Fed out across the back line, and this time to the centre play. He fought down just outside. Or oh, the uh, quarter there. Penalty against Cronulla. Allowing the player to get up. And also he's penalising a further 10 metres for back chatting. Yes, referee Ward establishing his uh, authority very early in this game. It'll be good if he uh, does continue to penalise the players, laying all over the man playing the ball, allowing the player of the ball to get up very quickly. And of course, he's already let Cronulla know, in particular, know that he won't stand any back chat. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Darrell Brayman will have noticed that and uh, will be curbing his players in that area. OK, Penrith on the attack this time. As Simmons has got the ball, he turns it back to uh, McAlpine. He makes valuable ground before he's tackled. Ball is out now to um, Jones. He turns it back across the line. It's eventually gone out to Fenton. Fenton back out to uh, Platt. Still going Platt, but he's brought down just outside the Cronulla quarter. It's still nil all. Back to Levy. Turns it back to uh, McAlpine. Jones. Still, the bones back out to McAlpine. The ball out to Fenton. Fenton still going. Fenton looks for support. Can't get the ball away. Still going is Fenton. He's up. And he's brought down about five metres out from the Cronulla goal mount. Penrith looking dangerous here. Izzard, it's back to uh, Broman. He looks inside to uh, Jones. Jones turns it back outside. It's gone across the back line. Here's Danger. Back to Izzard. He's held up only inches out from the uh, goal line. Last tackle against Penrith. Oh, back to Broman. Broman goes hard for the line. But he's held up. And oh. Penrith starting to look good in these early stages. Yes, certainly. And plenty of pressure applied by Penrith. They actually, I felt, got over the lane there on two occasions, only to be pushed back uh, before the player could go on the ball. But I just harken back to a situation where Fenton was pulled down by Mullane just uh, sort of five yards from the lane. He looked effectively tackled, to, from, to my mind, but he was able to get up and uh, continue his momentum and got yeah. back into the play. And, of course, this is an area where the referee has to be very careful because... Uh, if Mullane lays all over the tackle player, well, then he's penalised for not allowing him to get up. And then in a situation like that, he could have been uh, getting off him. And, uh, and then, of course, we saw Fenton get up very quickly. Kirk takes play up to the Cronulla quarter. Right, back outside to uh, McNamara. And uh, he eventually offloads to uh, Nixon, who's brought down. OK, Sorensen with the ball now. McNamara's a big fellow. Yes, he is. Uh, a good worker, uh, very solid in the middle of the rucks and takes the ball up well. Uh, doesn't work the ball probably as much as Greg Pierce would like, not at this stage anyhow, but uh, he's a good partner for Dane Collington. I'm particularly impressed with Penrith though at this early stage because they are standing very, very deep in attack and uh, switching the point of the attack, moving on to the ball with plenty of purpose and they are looking good. OK, this time it's a Cronulla ball. That's back to Mullane. Mullane is brought down midway between the quarter and the half on the other side of the ground. Ball is out this time to David Hatch. Uh, 
back to um, McNamara and in turn turn to Jarvie. And the play over the halfway mark now, it's back to Haddock, to Sorensen. Sorensen brought down 10 metres into Penrith territory. Nolan Beckett turns it back to Haddock. And this time it's back out to Nixon. Still going with the ball, Nixon. Last tackle, picked up there from the dummy half was uh, Beckett. And Beckett is eventually brought down at last tackle. Miller at Penrith. And uh, play about to restart with this scrum. Just outside the Penrith quarter. Digging scrum in the Calpine. This is another ball. It's back to Haddock. Oh, a heavy tackle Haddock there by Bizard. It's up okay. The ball's back this time out to Nixon. He turns it to Sorensen. And uh, they're being bustled up here, uh, Cronulla. Back to Hatch. Hatch is brought down uh, five metres out from the Penrith quarter. Back outside to McNamara. He turns to offload. Gets a long pass along the ground to Haddock. He floats one out to Mullane. Mullane looks to offload but can't do so. All right, Rogers this time. It's out to Sorensen. Sorensen going hard. Still going. And he's taken play up to the quarter as uh, the referee signals last tackle. Penrith taking a little while to put Dan Sorens into the ground. Well, uh, this time it's out to uh, Ricky Burke. And uh, there's the end of six tackles. And a scrum will form just outside, or just inside the Penrith quarter. We have a situation here where both touches are in, uh, mm. reporting an incident to uh, referee Ward. Daryl Brougham and the uh, Penrith skipper being called out and spoken to. A few words of warning there, obviously given to Brayman and the scrum will pack down. Okay, Mikel Fine feeds the scrum and it's a Penrith ball. Back to uh, Warren Fenton. McAlpine, Lizard. Goes straight, but doesn't make any ground. And was met there by Greg Nixon and also David Hatch. Now, the ball is out this time to Jamie Jones, front rower. Back now, Broman. Floats one outside to uh, the centre right. So he's well tackled by Ian Forrest. This time it's out to Zavanovic. And the Penrith have made no ground. They're still at the uh, quarter mark. Pass back to uh, Levy. Levy kicks one down the field. Just over halfway, but it's uh, picked up by Burke. Juggles it, gets it back to Mullane. Mullane through one tackle. He's still going. And he's eventually brought down by Jamie Jones around the leg. OK, it's back to... Uh, Beckett, he makes about one or two metres and he's brought down. Haddock, no, still goes on his own Haddock and uh, brought down over the top there by Lou Platt. Sorensen, dummy, just looks for uh, McNamara. Oh, and McNamara is well put down. And his legs there by uh, Simmons. Sorensen on the burst again. Oh, gets a lovely pass. Oh, he hard, but it's... Uh, Referee has called out... Um, well, Jamie Jones went in particularly yeah. high there on uh, Big Kurt Sorensen and uh, it doesn't come as any surprise that uh, he's getting a talking to from the referee ward. Of course, uh, Kurt Sorensen obviously is going to attract plenty of attention from this Penrith defence and I noticed that uh, on a couple of occasions now, young Perry Haddock has been hoping to benefit from that uh, special attention to Sorensen by throwing a dummy to the big fella lurking up on the outside and hoping to scheme his own way through, but... Uh, up to this stage, anyhow, Penrith hasn't fallen for that trick, but uh, from that caution, of course, is the resultant penalty to Penella, with Steve Rod Rogers in a very kickable position for a player of his ability. As I said earlier, uh, Rogers probably the most valuable rugby, pl rugby league player in the world today. Uh, a wonderful uh, skipper, a brilliant attacking player, a top defensive player, and a great goal kicker. Uh, what more can you ask in a rugby league footballer? Yes, up until today, he's scored 1,075 points in Premiership matches. And uh, number two possibly coming up as he moves in. And it's no risk. Right between the posts, so Cronulla has gone to the lead. They lead Penrith by two points to nil.
in Penn's big game at Penrith Park. Restart his play by McAlpine. Down to Jarvie. Takes it cleanly up towards the quarter. And he's brought down. Beckett this time now. Out to uh, Chris Gardner. Think about the first time we've seen Chris Gardner in the action today. Beckett at dummy half now. Sorensen. Beckett sends it out to David Hatch. Turn to Nixon. He's tackled. Hatch in the dummy half. Up the blind side. Nola making ground towards the halfway mark. Two points to nil in favour of Cronulla. The ball is eventually fed back to Rogers and he's met head on there by Brayman. Back to Sorensen. Back to his brother Kurt. Kurt Sorensen offloads to Haddock. And Haddock's oh, and there's trouble out here between Sorensen and also um, Warren Fenton. And the touch judges in from the far side. Yes, there's a little bit of uh, stick developing in the game at the moment. Uh, Kurt Sorensen in particular being uh, a little resentful of the tackle there from Fenton and uh, he retaliated and of course has incurred the wrath of the game of the, uh, of the touch judge as well as the referee. Very, very humid and sticky out there this afternoon and uh, the game at this stage after uh, some 15 minutes or so has uh, been played at a cracker pace. Handling has been good, both teams controlling the ball. Uh, Penrith probably a little more, a bit more adventuresome in attack, but uh, the penalty has gone to um, Cronulla on this occasion. Okay, well, Rogers now to find touch. He does that 10 metres into Penrith territory. Okay, Cronulla on the attack this time. And with the ball, McNamara. Back at a dummy half. It's back to uh, Hatch. Dummies. It makes one or two metres. Put down by Bremen. Back at now to Haddock. Haddock looks for Mullane. And Mullane is driven into the ground there by Wright. Back to, uh, Kurt, to uh, Sorensen. Dane Sorensen. Up towards the quarter. They make valuable ground for another. Back at now. Haddock. Turns it back outside to uh, Forrest. Last tackle. Haddock at dummy half. Turns it to McNamara. He uh, turns off loads. The ball's knocked forward and it's picked up for uh, Penrith there by Zivanovic. Ball spread out now to Broman. Quick passing here by Penrith. Coming inside there is Wright. But he's uh, well held there by Jarvie. Basley, the end, Broman doing well to get the pass away there, and the Penrith uh, Cronulla defence that was moving up very quickly. I'm just a little bit surprised that, uh, that Penrith are electing to play the game in their territory because they've got, as I said earlier, a couple of good tactical kickers. And uh, certainly when Levy cleared the line a little bit earlier, it wasn't a very good clearing kick. Okay, Broman kicks for touch, and it's a good one. In fine touch just on the other uh, Cronulla side of halfway. Two points to nil in favour of uh, Cronulla over Penrith. And we're just nearly 23 minutes into the first half. I'm sure the Penrith forwards appreciated that touch finder from, uh, from Broman. It was a lot easier gaining 50 yards that way than uh, having to slog their way upfield. Okay, to Rogers this time. It's back outside now to um, Nixon. And the time eventually think it's gone to uh, Gardner, and he makes takes play up to the cause of the quarter. Cronulla could be dangerous here. Rogers, he floats one out to uh, Burke. Oh, but beautifully uh, tackled there by his opposite number, McMahon. Sorensen back to Beckett. Cronulla a 4-1 advantage in the scrums with penalties four apiece at this stage. The score, two points to nil in favour of Cronulla after uh, 18 minutes. Sorensen, David, uh, rather, Dane Sorensen with the ball. As uh, the referee signals last tackle against Cronulla. Haddock. And... The drills knock on, so... 
scrum will form on the, or just right on the quarter mark in Penrith territory. It's two points to nil, still in favour of Cronulla. McAlpine. And the penalty to Cronulla. Penalty to Cronulla, right in front. A differential penalty, Graham, where they can't kick for goal anyhow, but um, it's a little bit surprising. I think there's a lot of experience in that Penrith front row with two hookers. It's the, the third differential penalty in the game. Uh, Jamie Jones, of course, a very experienced uh, hooker in the prop forward position this afternoon, uh, partnering Royce Simmons. But it's not doing them much good at the moment, uh, training four scrums to one. OK, Cronulla on the attack this time, and back to Haddock. McNamara, out to uh, Burke. Still going, he's only about three metres out from the goal now. Beckett, Rogers. Thanks to Sorensen. Ooh, Sorensen gets the one away to Gardner. Gardner back to Sorensen. He plays it back to uh, Nixon. Oh, well picked up there by Hatch. Six more, says the referee. Hatch plays the ball back to Jarvie. Haddock across to Sorensen, rather to um, Forrest. Forrest evades that tackle. He's still going for it. Haddock at dummy half. Out to Sorensen. Back to McNamara. He stands in the tackle. Back to Sorensen. Sorensen going hard. Oh, he's about a metre out. He's put in on defence there from Broman, uh, marshalling his defence very quickly because there are a few gaps appearing. Haddock this time. Dummies still going Haddock. Five tackles. Last tackle against Tanata. In front of the post, and he's going hard there from the dummy half. Was... Um, Uh, Beckett, but uh, Beckett is uh, brought down, so at the end of six, and the referee has real time off for injury to a Penrith player. Two points to nil, still in favour of Cronulla against Penrith. Some down now, and it's the Penrith ball. Picked up there by uh, McAlpine. Jones the dummy half. It's back out to Fenton. Fenton makes about three or four metres. Tackled by Sorensen. He's a... Back across to Levy. Out to right. He knocks the ball forward. He's danger. Sorensen picks it up well and he's brought down about 12 metres out from the uh, Penrith line. Back it back to Hatch. Hatch through one and two tackles and brought down by Broman. Tap forward, goes his own hat, and he's about a metre out. Back at a dummy half. Back to Haddock. Out to Forrest, to Rogers. Rogers looks to a flow. Oh, he's given it back to uh, McCann. McCann's making valuable ground for uh, Penrith, and he's brought down midway between the quarter and half on Penrith's side. Two points nil in favour of Penella over Penrith. And there's a penalty to Penrith. Penella well offside, and uh, penalty to Penrith. And during all this, of course, this action, we've had uh, Penrith hooker Roy Simmons receiving attention in the Pen Penrith in goal area, but certainly the very timely intercept there by Craig McMahon when Cronulla were looking extremely dangerous. Simmons, uh, after treatment from the, uh, the Penrith trainer, has resumed his, uh, taken, retaken his place on the field and appears to be... Uh, Pretty well OK. He has the ball now, moving up to uh, to take this tap. All right, the ball is put out to Zavanovic eventually. Oh, he's through that tackle. He's still going, Zavanovic. Up towards the Cronulla quarter. Brought down there by Haddock. Now, oh, back to Broman. Quick passing here to uh, Lou Platt. Goes down the left flank. 
McMahon a dummy half. Back to Flay. So he makes little or no territory uh, play. Brought down by Rogers. Back to uh, McAlpine and he knocks it on. We're starting to mount a little bit of pressure on the Cronulla defence. Uh, Cronulla looked a couple of minutes ago as if they were going to take charge of the game. They had a couple of opportunities for tries, got close to the line, but were pushed back by some determined uh, Penrith defence. And now Penrith in possession again. Levy with the ball this time. Back to uh, play. Plays brought down. McAlpine. Back to Fenton and turn Back to um, front row of Jones is brought down. Now Penrith on the attack as Dizard sends it back out. Quick passing out to um, Kenny Wolf. But uh, the penalty referee has ruled oh, yes, a penalty to um, Cronulla. He ruled the pass forward from Fenton well, to Wolf. But uh, what a brilliant little piece of play by, uh, by Izzard. He really scorched through that. Uh, there he goes through that Cronulla defence, picked up uh, Fenton, and unfortunately for Penrith, that uh, pass from Fenton to Wolf was ruled forward. Rogers finds touch just inside the Cronulla quarter. Sorensen now tries to barge his way through the Penrith forwards, makes some ground. Eventually, the ball is played back now to Gardner. Gardner tackles. Beckett now to Nixon. Haddock, Sorensen. Still going Sorensen. Gets a long pass to Burke. He's beautifully tackled by McMahon. Rogers to Haddock. Haddock looks to kick forward. That's well taken by Levy. And Levy is brought down about 10 metres out from the halfway. Roman is Ivanovic. He's met by the Cronulla forward. This time it's out to Platt. Gets the pass away. A nice pass too. Out to uh, Jones. Haven't seen enough of Platt in these opening 25 minutes as far as Penrith are concerned. I'd be looking for him coming into the play just on the edge of the ruck, but uh, apart from a few bursts, he's been pretty quiet. That's a ball well taken by Flay. He finds McMahon. McMahon comes in field. Oh, and he's met there by Mullane and also Nixon. Simmons he's now. Blake Craig McMahon. Uh, plenty of pace. He played in City Seconds last year and uh, one of the up-and-coming youngsters in Sydney football. I believe he's brought down there. Simmons a dummy half. He turns it to Jones. Back to Platt. So oh, knocks it on there. Uh, Rod Wright. The uh, referee has ruled a knock on and brought play back just outside the Cronulla quarter. Still two points to nil in favour of Penrith over Cronulla. And we've got just about 13 minutes left in this first half. And it's uh, eventually out to Nixon. Back to Forrest. Forrest straightens up the attack. And uh, he's brought down eventually there by Platt. Beckett now back to um, Jarvie. Still going, Jarvie. Beckett, McNamara. Good passing back to Hat. I think they've lost possession. They have Penrith in possession. Picking up the ball there was uh, Broman. Now here's uh, Penrith on the attack. A bad pass. Levy picks it up. And well runs along the ground there to Platt. Right on halfway. Platt to Simmons. Back out to Jones. Jones turns. Still going Jones. And good run there by Jones. Simmons. McAlpine. Sends it back to Simmons. He looks for... Uh, Fenton, then out to play. Good passing here. Turns it eventually out to Wolf. Wolf back to, to uh, Levy, and they won't stop Levy. A great try to Penrith, and they go to the lead by three points to two. 
Yes, it certainly was a good try, and Levy figured very prominently in it too, and so did Wolf, a very well timed in pass. But we'll have a look at it now as it's coming up on the replay. Full mark for Levy, the way he was able to inject it. It was a switch of the pass, a long pass there from, uh, from Jamie Jones. A good pass here from the centre too, as he made the break to Levy. Levy picked up Wolf, and when Wolf was able to step back inside, turn, come to Mullane, it's a very well timed pass uh, back into fullback Mark Levy, and uh, it'll probably look better from head on even. And here it goes again. Uh, the long pass is switched out there from uh, from Simmons. He's picked it up to Fenton. Fenton to Flay. Flay to, to Levy. Levy back out to Wolf. Wolf back inside there, inside Beckett. Comes to Mullane, turns it back inside to Levy. And Levy's off uh, for a very handy position. That was a well, uh, a well planned uh, play by the Penrith side. Okay, McAlpine out to uh, attempt to convert that try by Levy. Calpine moves in. It's a, oh, hits the post, but bounces back inside, and it's the goal. So Penrith now lead Cronulla five points to two in the big game here at Penrith Park. Here's the kick by Rogers, and it's picked up by Broman on the far side. Scrums 5 3 to Cronulla at this stage. Uh, penalty 6 5 to Cronulla. Zivanovic. Out to, out to Timmons now. Here's some quick passing. It's back to McAlpine. He turns a quick passing back to uh, Zivanovic. It's time it's back to uh, Izzard. Izzard still going. He's up to the lane. Kicks over the lane. Going through also now is Fenton. Fenton picks the ball up. It's a try. A great try to Penrith. A brilliant try. Oh, that's champagne football. There was some very, very clever passing, some quick passing to Terman and put uh, Izzard into the clear. I thought he was going to be looking to pick up Fenton on the outside. Here it comes back from McAlpine. McAlcom switches it across. Good pass there from Jones. And here's Izzard making the break. He gets away from Haddock. I thought he was going to look for Fenton, but Fenton looked as if he was covered anyhow. He puts the little chip over the top. And here's we've got a charge for the line. Very well judged. Very well judged. Kick, of course, a very, very favourable bounce. Uh, Burke takes Fenton in the tackle and doesn't hold him. And over the line he goes. Uh, champagne football. Yes, it certainly was a great try, Keith. And it'll look good from head on, too, as uh, Zivanek gives the pass to uh, to Izzard. Izzard comes to Mullane, puts a little chip over the top, knew exactly where he was going, was impeded by Mullane. And now we see the race for the ball. You see uh, Fenton favoured by a good bounce, and well-deserved bounce, too, because when you see brilliant football like that, it's good to see the result come. So we've got McAlpine now about to attempt to convert that try. Only three minutes after the try scored by Levy. So the uh, complexion of this, this game has uh, changed dramatically in the last four or five minutes. At Penrith at the moment leading by eight points to two. And they could go further ahead if McAlpine can convert that try by uh, Warren Fenton. McAlpine moves in. It's not a bad kick, but it's to the side of the post. No goal. So Penrith lead Cronulla by eight points to two in the big game at Penrith Park. And we've got six minutes left in this first half. There's the kick by Rogers. And it's taken by Jamie Jones. We've heard a lot of reports of young Izzard uh, coming up to today's game, and uh, he certainly lived up to uh, to all the praise that's been heaped upon him. He was a President's Cup player with Penrith last year, and uh, certainly has made the transition in, uh, in great style up to this stage anyhow. He did feature in some good early play. His defence was outstanding early. Uh, she had a clever kick over the top, she had good force and thrust there to make that initial break and clever football to put the chip over the top. Well, we see a series of errors there, resulting eventually in a scrum to be formed midway between the quarter and the half on Penrith's side. In goes the ball, and it's a Cronulla ball. It's back outside to uh, Nixon. And uh, <laughs> eventually tackled with the ball is um, Forrest now. Back to Nixon. 
I just wonder how long it's going to be before Greg Pierce uh, switches Steve Rogers back into the lock forward spot. Uh, Rogers uh, outstanding in that position last year in uh, in Sydney grade football because he's able to uh, to dominate the type of game that Cronulla plays. He has to be involved in the game and uh, out in the centre spot. I don't think he has anywhere near the opportunities uh, to leave his mark on the game. Rogers with the ball, sends it back to Gardner. Still going Gardner. Looks for Forrest. He finds Forrest. He's brought down just outside the Penrith quarter. Last tackle against Cronulla. Sorensen. Over the quarter, and uh, Sir Sorensen stands in the tackle, and the other six tackles against Penrith. Penrith lead by eight points to two. Just under six minutes to go in this first half. There's the scrum. It's oh, Haddock picked the ball up. He's oh. down the right flank, and he'll score. Oh, what a great individual burst that was. Certainly came uh, at a time when Cronulla desperately needed it too. And uh, you'll see the way that uh, that Haddock is able to break away from the scrum here and scamper over from some 30 yards out. There he goes as the scrum collapses. The ball came out very favourably for him, and he was able to clear away from McAlpine. And uh, with Levy, of course, um, out of position. You'd have to say he was out of position on that uh, occasion. And as you see, he scooped the ball up. He's got away from McMahon here. McMahon probably should have covered him. But uh, Haddock was a little bit too slippery, and with Levy back towards the middle of the field, he was able to scoot away from McAlpine and go over in the corner. Yes, he's certainly a nifty little halfback, isn't he? Yes, he is. There's nothing of him. He'd have to be one of the smallest players in the uh, on the Sydney scene. He's only ten, uh, five foot four, and uh, uh, ten stone ten. That's in the old uh, weights and measures, of course. <laughs> don't ask me what that is. <laughs> if you don't ask me, I won't ask you. <laughs> a statistician. <laughs> okay, so there's the uh, score. Now it's eight points to five in favour of Penrith over Cronulla as Rogers attempts to convert that try by Haddock. Right on the sideline. Difficult kick for Rogers. He moves in. Not a bad kick, but just to the side of the post. And so it's Penrith eight leading Cronulla five. And we've got four minutes left in this first half in Penn's big game at Penrith Park. Penrith eight leads Cronulla five. Well, it's certainly been an interesting first half, Keith. Yes, it certainly has. It's been fluctuating. Both teams had their opportunities to put tries on the ball at various stages, getting to within inches of the line and actually getting over the line without being able to ground the ball. Then we saw those two great tries by uh, Penrith, and just when they looked as if they were able to, uh, to get into a position to take control, uh, Cronulla bounced back with that brilliant individual effort from uh, Perry Haddock. Rick Burke on the burst now, and he's brought down by... Zavanovic. Sorensen with the ball. He's endeavouring to offload, but can't do so. Around the legs is Broman and Platts over the top. Beckett now to Sorensen. Sorensen, he's knocked it on, Kurt Sorensen. And Penrith in possession. Here's danger. As uh, Wright goes down the right flank. Turns it back to Kenny Wolf. But the referee has ruled a penalty. Penalty against Cronulla. Allowing him to play the ball. And uh, there's a chance for uh, Penrith to add an extra two points. Just before we go into half time, and Levy coming up to it. No, yes. he's not attempted a uh, no, shot. He at gave goal. the indication he was going to have a shot at goal, though, didn't he? It's, uh, certainly, it's uh, distance wouldn't have hmm. worried him. It was a fair way out, but uh, obviously angle. they're confident of, uh, of well, reapplying pressure now to Canelo. Well, let's see how they go, because it's uh, McAlpine with the ball now. Dummies, he turns it back outside to Flay. Flay gets the pass to McMahon, but McMahon lo lo knocks on, and it's picked up by Haddock, who's uh, eventually brought down by Fenton. They certainly created that opportunity out wide there, where McAlpine schemed to uh, to pick up a, a couple of runners coming back in field towards the middle of the uh, of the Cronulla defence, but uh, Rogers was out there to cover, and then, of course, we saw McMahon put that pass down. Mm. So it's bad when you get into a position like that on the first tackle. Uh, they've elected to not to take the opportunity to kick a goal, kick for the line, and then lose the ball on the first tackle. Johnny Peard, the Penrith coach, wouldn't be too happy about that. McNamara with the ball. Big front rower for uh, Cronulla. Ball out to Haddock Forest. Runs out to Mullane, and the Mullane is tackled there. Guy right, last tackle, and a scrum to go down. 
minute and a half to go in this first half. It's Penrith 8, Cronulla 5. Two tries to one in favour of Penrith at this stage as Haddock feeds this scrum. And it's a Cronulla ball. Mullane from fullback comes in out to Forrester Rogers. Turns it back to uh, Gardner. And Gardner is brought down well there. By uh, McMahon. It's back out now to Forrest. Rick Burke down the right side. Forrest. Haddock. Back now to Nixon. About five metres out from the halfway. Beckett goes this time. And he takes play just onto the halfway mark. Sorensen. Back to McNamara. Smothered in the tackle there. By Jones and Broman. To Haddock. Back to Forrest. Floats it out to Gardner. And he's upended. By right, and that's the end of six. And we're coming up to half time with a uh, scoreline of eight points to five in favour of Penrith. Scrums favouring Canola, Canola seven to four. Uh, penalties uh, six apiece at this stage. Calpine feeds the scrum. It's a, a rather a Cronulla ball, but uh, feet across, says uh, referee Ward against Cronulla, just and the penalty to Penrith. Uh, just recapping, we've had trays by Mark Levy and uh, Warren Fenton in the 29th and the 31st minutes with a uh, conversion by McAlpine uh, for Penrith, and for uh, Cronulla, Perry Haddock scored their try in the 35th minute with Steve Rogers a goal. Right, right on half time. As uh, Tap is taken. There's the up and under by Levy. Could be interesting. Elaine's under the ball. Loses it. It, it eventually picked up, but there's no try. No try, so we go to half time break with Penrith 8 leading Cronulla 5. That's the kickoff and a uh, couple of changes in the side. Uh, Forrest is out for Cronulla. Wright is uh, the replacement, Gary Wright, and uh, the hooker for Penrith. Roy Simmons is not back on in the second half, and he's just. Brad Waugh has taken, taken his position, Brad Waugh. and that's an interesting one too, because obviously uh, Jamie Jones now will go into the uh, the hooking spot. It'll be interesting to see if uh, yes, Gary Wright appears to be playing in the five eight spot uh, for Cronulla, and obviously um, Greg Pierce looking for a little bit more in uh, variety or uh, purpose in attack in that position. Right on the halfway mark now, as the ball is out to Haddock, turns it back outside to uh, Wright, and it's eventually. Uh, Picked up by Mullane, he's brought down. Now it's out to Gardner, Haddock, to grub a kick, and attempts to find a touch, but he does so. Yep. Made a Fine bit of a mess touch. of that then, uh, the Cronulla side. A couple of interesting changes, actually. Brad War, uh, a player that held on a first grade spot for a long while with Penrith. And I remember sometime last season, he was able to win a Man of the Match award in the, uh, in the Tooth Cup series. And Gary Wright, of course, has switched from South Sydney this year. He's also a talented player. and. Uh, uh, certainly well worthy of a first grade spot. Possession of the ball going to be very important now in this uh, second 40 minutes. Uh, as I said earlier, conditions very, very humid out there and uh, obviously the teams are going to be... Uh, it's going to be taking toll of them towards the latter stages of the game. And it's always a lot easier, of course, when you're playing with the ball. Uh, Penrith leading eight points to five. Right, penalty to uh, Penrith. And Levy finds touch. Just on the Penrith side of halfway. Uh, tap taken there by Jones. Back to um, Wolf, the winger. He makes little or no headway. Broman at dummy half now. Back to McAlpine. Straightens up the attack. He's through. One, two tackles there. He looks for Wolf. Wolf's over the halfway. And he's brought down by Haddock. Back to War. And to um, McAlpine. Penola very, uh, Penrith very slow to get with uh, McAlpine there on that occasion. He was certainly left. He'd made the break up the right-hand side and got back into the play on the left, looking for supports. No one there. Roman dummies, and he makes one or two metres. Brought down by Sorensen. War, dummy half. Switches the play back from Levy out to uh, Platts. Platts has brought it down around the uh, legs there by McNamara. Last tackle against Penrith. It's out to Levy. He turns it back to Wolf. Wolf back to Levy. Back now to McAlpine. Dummies finds uh, um, 
is uh, back to the ball, back to war, I should say, and war is eventually brought down just outside the Quinella quarter. Yes, the Penrith boys certainly looking though to get into position quickly in attack, aren't they? And uh, there was pretty good movement of the ball, Levy injecting himself into the attack at every opportunity, and uh, uh, players quick to support the ball carrier on most occasions, anyhow. And the Cronulla win the scrum right on their own quarter. Hatch plays at the Haddock, it's back to Sorensen. Sorensen can't offload, nicely tackled there on the top by Wright. Still in possession. With the ball is uh, Nixon, brought to ground, it's back to Hatch. Goes from the dummy half, makes three metres. Brought down by Warren, Beckett, Haddock, uh, to McNamara, crashes his way through. Last tackle against Cronulla. Beckett slips his play to Rogers. Rogers looks to get the ball out to Mullane. He's well held there, though, by Flay. And a scrum will form just inside the Cronulla side of the halfway. We have Jones being carried from the field. So we're Penrith in trouble now. The losses that Keith mentioned are firstly Simmons and then Jones who moved into the um, hooking spot and Simmons didn't come back on. War took his position and we're now in for quite another replacement. The scrum packs down. I'm just on Sunday Cronulla side of halfway. Now Haddock about to feed the scrum. Now it's down. And it's a Cronulla ball. Haddock has the open side, gets the ball out. It's eventually set out across the back line to uh, right, right. Swivels turns up towards the halfway mark, goes right, and he's tackled right on it. Back to Nixon. He turns it back out to um, Jarvie, or rather uh, Rick Burke. Penrith already have their replacement on Tuzo, the second grade hooker. Sorensen now with the ball, Dane Sorensen. As the ball is back to Haddock, out to Rogers. Back this time to Wright. It's on to Gardner. Gardner's brought down just inside Penrith territory. To Rogers, he goes from the dummy half. All flicks it back nicely there to Beckett. And the valuable ground made as the referee signals last tackle against Cronulla. It's out to Haddock, straightens up the attack. And he's brought down, end of six. And a scrum will form about 10 metres out from the Penrith quarter. It's eight points to five in favour of Penrith over Cronulla. And we're seven minutes into the second half. Calpine feeds the scrum. It's a Cronulla ball. Had a gap to right. Still going is right. Oh, he's through right. He's over the quarter. And no, won't get right. He'll score. A great try by the replacement, 5'8", Gary Wright. Yes, and it was certainly a bad mistake by his opposite Rod Wright uh, that enabled him uh, to turn on his career through for that particular try. Uh, we see Steve Rogers, it's a simple uh, cross movement where he looks to switch to, uh, to Rogers, but just burst through that tack tackle by Wright and uh, was able to uh, find his way to the line. It'll probably look even better from head on, but uh, Levy on the opposite side of the field. Here's Rogers coming back infield there and Nizard held up to take him, but the both of them uh, grasped at Wright. And uh, both is that and Rod Wright, of course, uh, guilty on that occasion. And uh, certainly a, a try that could possibly take Cronulla into the lead. Level the scores up at eight points apiece with um, seven minutes gone in this second half. And the replacement hooker is Attila Tuza. Yes, Tuza is uh, from the second grade. And uh, uh, they had a great win over Cronulla in the early match. And obviously they're pretty confident that he can get them uh, a share of possession. But... Uh, Certainly, that's a setback uh, to Cronulla's hopes of taking out this game. Because that was, what, uh, a pretty easy try, actually. Eight points all now as uh, Rogers moves in to attempt to convert that try. He does so. And so Cronulla has gone to the lead by ten points to eight over Penrith at Penrith Park. And we're eight minutes into the second half. There's the kick by McAlpine. Taken over there on the far side by Gardner. And he's... Uh, Met there by Wright and brought down. Six more tackles, says the referee, to Cronulla. 
Beckett plays it back now to uh, Jarvie. Jarvie goes from the dummy half, makes three metres, and he's brought down. Back to Beckett. Uh, Haddock he turns it back this time to Nixon. And he's met head-on by Broman. And um, he was hurt in that uh, tackle by Broman. Nixon still on the ground, and referee calls time off. The head-on's coming up, as you see. He goes in particularly heavy underneath with the shoulder and uh, caught him more or less underneath the chin. And then uh, he's got plenty of support there from Wall coming in too. So he was certainly on the receiving end of a particularly jolting tape tackle. But uh, he's on his feet now and it looks as if he's OK. OK, play about to resume. And the ball out to Haddock. Up to Sorensen. And uh, Kurt Sorensen is brought down there. Back, it. Back to uh, Haddock, he fumbles the ball, but regathers. Hatch, in the dummy half, up the blind side. It's the end of six, and a scrum to form. So we're taking over the hooking spots here for uh, Penrith. For the third time in this match, we have now Attila Tuza. Yes, and probably uh, Canelo seeing what the situation is regarding the scrummage in. They didn't elect a kick on the six tackle. Maybe uh, testing um, uh, Tuzo out to see his, his uh, hooking capabilities. Well, anyhow, they certainly uh, made the right decision as they're on the receiving end of a penalty. Uh, Rogers finds touch. Midway between the quarter and half on the Penrith side. And uh, Beckett about to take the tap. It's time, it's back to Rogers. No, uh, sorry, to uh, McNamara. I don't see any point in Bowman there just going in with the, with the shoulder and not attempting to uh, to take the man. He just bounced off him, and uh, McNamara was able to turn and unload the ball. Fortunately for Penrith, he didn't. Hatch in possession for Cronulla, just outside the Penrith quarter. Haddock, back to Sorensen, quick passing. It's back to uh, Rick Burke. He plays it back down the blind side to uh, Haddock. Back to Sorensen. Still good, going forward, Sorensen. Oh, he's, he's a good player, isn't he? He's uh, continually taking the ball up all the time, driving forward. And uh, he's rocked like in defence. And whenever any heavy work has to be done, he's always the player there to do it. Last tackle against Cronulla. Rogers in possession. To right, back to McNamara. He turns it back to Gardner. Quick passing. Out to Haddock. Haddock slips. Can't get the ball away, and the scrum will go down. It's 10 points to 8 in favour of Penrith. Steve Rogers limping pretty heavily on that uh, right foot of his. He's been uh, limping now from uh, midway through the first half and uh, he certainly hasn't played a major role in this game. When he gets the ball, he seems to be able to shake it off a little bit, but uh, just when there's break and play or he's not involved in the game, he seems to be limping on that right leg. It's a Cronulla ball, quick passing to Haddock. It's on to uh, Nixon. He's held in the tackle, Haddock. Back to Hatch, right, and it's... Eventually to Gardner. Gardner is held in the tackle. Good play by Wolf too, because he spotted that the danger was there. Moved in very quickly then to uh, kill the man with the ball. Nixon brought down midway between the quarter and the uh, goal line on Penrith's side. Paddock, right. Cuts out Rogers. is back to uh, Ricky Burke. Rather, John Jarvie, I should say. Here's a chance to, to Sorensen. Back to his brother, Kurt. He's going hard and he'll score. A good try there from Cronulla. Kurt Sorensen, the try scorer, and they go to the lead by 13 points to eight. Yes, what a typical Sorensen try it was, bursting onto a pass just on the edge of the ruck. He scored two similar tries last week against Balmain, and uh, there just doesn't seem to be much holding this real powerhouse uh, Cronulla second rower. Look at him, he's able to go through, just charge through with players, uh, Penrith players falling off him. Um, McMahon and uh, Broman, both of them there. And here he comes again, now off his brother, Dane. Dane's there all the time, he gives it away. Rogers out to uh, attempt another conversion. Convert this try by um, Sorensen. Sorensen, Kurt Sorensen has scored 48 tries. Well, now 49 with that try this afternoon. These two um, Penrith centres I keep getting mixed up. I don't know who you find them, uh, Graham. Exactly the same way. He's missed that, Rogers. But uh, he's missed but that. Yes, they're very alike. Light and play. They're very much like, aren't they? They're both very similar and uh, the same colouring. 
Yeah, it's easy to uh, the mistake, and maybe um, uh, Rod Wright is just that fraction taller. So it's 13 points to eight in favour of uh, Cronulla over Penrith. 13 minutes into the second half, the play about to resume. McAlpine kicks downfield. There to take the ball is uh, Ricky Burke. Trying to run it out from his own quarter. He's about two metres out. And the scrum possession uh, heavily Cronulla's way now, nine to four. Hash with the ball. Beckett. Eventually, from a dummy half, turns it out to McNamara. Take it again at dummy half. Haddock, Sorensen. Pass out to uh, the two uh, guys who couldn't take it, and Penrith are in possession. Picking up there was War. Izzard at dummy half. McAlpine. Out to Broman. To Platt. Platt. Makes about three metres. Souza, dummy half. Broman, back to Tuza. Tuza tries to straighten up the attack, but makes little or no ground. Penrith have to lift the pace of their game now. Uh, they've got to get more drive into uh, the players coming onto the ball and the likes of Zivanovic is a chance now coming up on the right-hand side that they've got to get into position quickly. They've got to pressure this Cronulla side because they are training 13 points to eight. And uh, if they don't, well, Cronulla can take complete control. All well taken there by Tuza. It's the last tackle against Penrith. Cronulla, sir, Penrith certainly got to give this next 10 minutes everything they've got. To Broman. Dummies. Oh, finds uh, Fenton coming through on the burst, but he's well tackled around the leg there by Nixon. And that's the end of six. Scrum to form, just outside the Cronulla quarter. Cronulla 13, Penrith 8. Now the scrum packs down. Haddock to feed it. Now out to it to fed in again. Now well, Ward is uh, asked him to uh, pack down once again. There it is, it's a Cronulla ball. And it's out this time to Nixon. And this is certainly going to be Penrith's problem, lack of possession. Uh, Cronulla 10 to 4 in the scrums, and it's very, very important from here on in. Here's David Hatch making a fine break downfield. He turns it back to uh, Nixon, who can't hold the ball, and it's picked up by Penrith, and they in turn knock on. Series right. of errors there by... Uh, yes, by it Penrith. certainly was. You can understand uh, the Cronulla boys um, uh, looking to unload at every opportunity to try and keep the play moving there, because there was a try on when Hatch made that break. But once uh, Penrith got possession from the break and play, they should have ensured that they did retain it. But they've come up with the ball from the scrum. Levy with the ball. And it's across the uh, back line out to Fenton. And a penalty to, to uh, Penrith. Penalty to Penrith, and it's uh, not allowing Fenton to play the ball. And of course, these are correct tactics from Cronulla too. They have to slow down now the pace of the uh, the Penrith attack and uh, they'll be ensuring that they uh, they lay over the ball, the man in the tackle and make sure that he doesn't get up as quickly as he'd like to and uh, as we see on camera now uh, it's a very hairline situation of course between the referee allowing it or condoning it. Calpine. Back to Broman to McAlpine. Back to uh, Pats. Good handle it. Kicked through there by McAlpine. Picked up eventually by Haddock for Cronulla. Now it's Haddock on the burst. He's still going Haddock. Oh, he's met there by Izzard. And uh, the ball is knocked is back to uh, Cronulla's possession. Six more tackles. It's a good referee. tackle though, wasn't it? It certainly was. Now uh, Jarvi in possession. Back to Beckett. Back to Sorensen. Burke knocks off one, two attackers, uh, defenders. He's uh, brought down. Uh, to McNamara. Turns in the tackle. And is asked to play the ball. Sorensen, Rogers, right, Sorensen, long pass out to Burke. Goes inside Burke, back to right, then back to Gardner. Still going Gardner, gives it to Mullane, and Mullane scoops in the ball. Picked up 
that part. Last tackle against Cunello. It's back to Sorensen. And there's the end of six. As a scrum will form just on the pinner side of halfway. 13 points to eight in favour of Cronulla. And Gary Wright has certainly uh, added a lot of sharpness to this Cronulla attack since he's come on in the second half. Now Izzard is being called out by one of the uh, linesmen. We him to report Izzard for um, an alleged offence. He's given a brief warning and the scum will go down. 13 points to eight still in favour of Cronulla over Penrith. Three tries to two in favour of the Sharks. And it's a Penrith ball. Fenton this time. And he's eventually brought down. Zavanovic to McAlpine. Mizard past the Levy. Oh, nearly danger for an intercept there. And Nicely uh, claimed there by Flay the ball. Now this Penrith again on the attack. McAlpine tackled though by Zavanovic, rather uh, Hatch. Now Brayman back to Went Fenton. Well, this uh, Cronulla forward pack has knocked uh, Penrith out of their pattern at the moment, and um, Brayman is the player, of course, that dictates basically the trend of their game. But there's no one running off him, and. Uh, uh, he certainly left uh, on his own on too many occasions. Uh, they were all very bunched and uh, completely leaderless at this stage. Well, the referee has ordered a uh, scrum. To the end of six tackles, as far as he was concerned. So there's the uh, scrum, and it's, it's like a pin with ball. Paddock, rather, McAlpine in possession. Now, ball is out to McMahon. McAlpine, out to Platts. Izzard. Goes up and makes about six or seven metres. Penrith starting to get into this match again. It's back to Platts. McAlpine, long floating pass. Out to uh, Clay. Back inside now to Wolf. Wolf turns a pass for Tuza. Souza is brought down. Last tackle against Penrith. War at dummy harm. McAlpine, it's out to Platts. Back to uh, Wolf. Wolf can't offload. And it's the end of six. And Penrith's attack started to look a little bit tight. Right. Yes, well, that's the type of uh, positive attitude that they have to adopt. Uh, they were very negative there for the last five or six minutes after that Kurt Sorensen try. And uh, that obviously shocked them. Um, Cronulla a little bit uh, the worse for wear. Both uh, Gardner and uh, and Wright shaken up by a couple of heavy defensive um, knocks there. Another uh, penalty kick here to Penrith, which will allow them to get deep into uh, Cronulla's quarter line. And uh, you know, with only um, what have we got? 15 minutes or 19 minutes into 19, this? 19 into this uh, second half or 19 minutes remaining trailing uh, 13 points to eight. Well, they certainly have to put points on the board and put them on quickly if they are going to get back into this game. Right, play to resume, just on the quarter mark. Back now to War. Goes hard, War, and makes good ground. Five or six metres up towards the Canola goal now. Tuza to, to uh, Bremen, to McAlpine. Back to Zavanovic. Alpine at dummy half, and it's a penalty, a penalty here to uh, Penrith. And it's against Kurt Sorensen, allowing him to play the ball right in front. And he's shoot what should be two easy points for McAlpine to reduce the deficit. They trail by 13 points to eight. And the scrums favouring Cronulla 10 to seven at this stage. Uh, penalties Penrith way 11 to seven. And uh, they've received four penalties to nil in the second half. Right, McAlpine moves in. There it is. Makes no mistake about it. And so, Cronulla lead by 13 points to 10. Here at Penrith Park in 10's big game. A successful penalty goal by Craig McAlpine. As the kickoff by Rogers. Deep into uh, Penrith territory. Eventually picked up by Levy. Tries to run it out. 
Up to the quarter mark he goes and he's brought down by Sorensen and Rogers. Twos are at dummy half. Zavanovic. Two's an hour. McAlpine. Izzard. Izzard. Goes he's through. Izzard. Making valuable ground, Izzard, up towards the halfway mark. Two's a McAlpine. Broman. Oh, gets the pass out to, um, to Flay, but he knocks it on. Awkward pass it was, too. And so a scrum to pack down. Now the linesman in to report another player. And uh, who was he called out? He was called out Nixon uh, has uh, received a caution. I didn't pick up anything in the, uh, in the general play. Well, it was a brief one, Keith. There's this uh, scrum about to pack down once more. Fed by McAlpine. And it looks like being a Penrith ball it is. <laughs> well, obviously, the referee blown his whistle and, uh, and Wolf knew because uh, certainly he looked as if he was shell-shocked yeah. when, uh, when McAlpine chewed chewing the ball. <laughs> right, now, um, the scrum being back down once again in field and it's a banana ball. ball. Collapsing scrum. OK, out to Nixon. He's met there by Fenton and Dizard. It's back now to uh, Hatch. Or rather, the winger, John Jarvie. Right, it's back to uh, Haddock, out to Mullane. Burke from the dummy half. Up towards the quarter. He's met by Fenton and also Platts. Beckett. Back to Haddock. Back to Haddock again. From the right. Oh, a heavy tackle there. Or he met Bremer well, head on again. He certainly come in for his share of attention. And, uh, the end of six. Of course, he's so short, it's mm. very difficult to tackle him low. Anything but uh, yeah. ball and all. And of course, uh, invariably, you up, you up around his, uh, yeah. his uh, head and shoulders. Like, oh, in that situation there. Fortun the ball. Fortunately for him, he's pretty tough. Right now with the ball, up towards the quarter. He's having a good game, right? He certainly made a difference to this Cronulla attack. From the dummy half, Gardner, back to Sorensen. He's met there by Zavanovic, around the legs. He's really explosive when he chimes into the attack, though. McNamara. Inside the Penrith quarter. Haddock. Dummy steps back inside, still going Haddock. Last tackle against P uh, Cronulla as the ball is uh, fed out across the back line. Out to right, back to Sorensen. Sorensen finds right again. Still going right. Dummy straightened. And there's the end of six. 13 points to 10 in favour of Cronulla over Penrith. And we've got just over 13 minutes left in this first half as the scrum about to form. Midway between the, uh, in the second half, I should say. And it's a Penrith ball. Penrith on the attack now, Izzard. Wolf at dummy half. Makes about three metres up towards the quarter. McAlpine, Broman. Broman going for the kick. Bad kick. No, nope, it's just out on the fall. Play recalled and a scrum to go down just inside the Penrith quarter. I'm disappointed in uh, in Lou Platts this afternoon. I was looking for a lot more injection into the attack from this big, powerful player that came from Parramatta last year. And uh, I should imagine that uh, Johnny Peard would be disappointed also because he hasn't projected himself into the attack uh, anywhere near as much as you would expect from a player of his ability. That's a Penrith ball. McAlpine gets the pass back to Fenton. Fenton has just held on the uh, foot there. Certainly the same can't be said hatch. about Fenton because he's looking to get into it at every opportunity. Levy this time. Smothered by two of the Cronulla players. As it's back to McAlpine. Turns, still going McAlpine. 
tries to get the pass away and it's uh, lost, lost the it. ball. Picked up by Hatch for Quinella. Right, dummy half. To uh, McNamara, out to Burke. Beckett to uh, Haddock, back inside to Sorensen. Oh, over the uh, shoulder there, back to Nixon. Haddock to uh, cross the line. It's out to Rogers. Oh, he tries to give it to Gardner. Gardner fumbles, knocks on, and a scrum will go down. So it's still 13 points to 10 in favour of Cronulla. And Cronulla making a few changes here with uh, Robert Lane, the ex-Eastern Suburbs halfback, coming on, replacing Perry Haddock. And Steve Hardy, the ex-Australian schoolboy captain, number 22, uh, coming onto the field. And also we've seen uh, McAlpine replaced by Dave Hasler for Cronulla, uh, for Penrith. Hasler for uh, McAlpine. And there's a penalty to Cronulla. start of play now. So Sorensen goes hard. Still going Sorensen. Offloads well back to McNamara. Lane in for uh, Perry Haddock as Pete mentioned. And uh, Hardy in for Hatch. Another still on the attack. Back now to Beckett. He goes hard for the line. He's brought down about a metre out. Chance here for Cronulla. Back now to um, but, uh, quite a few changes here. Hardy for Hatch, is it? Rogers turns the bat out to uh, Gardner, but he's knocked it on. A little bit scrappy by uh, Cronulla at the moment, and obviously this could be expected by the number of uh, replacements that they've made. Uh, it's been a pretty torrid game, and uh, the players that have been replaced certainly came in for their fair share of punishment, uh, particularly young Haddock, but he stood up pretty well and he had a very, a very satisfying performance. All right, Hasler feeds the scrum, it's a Canola ball. It's back to Lane. Or I should say Hardy. Hardy's Hardy's an interesting in player too. Nixon, yes, Hardy, he's an interesting player, only a youngster. And uh, certainly glowing reports from the Canola camp. Right, here's Rogers on the attack now. He's had a quiet day, hasn't he, Keith? Yes, he has, but I think he's uh, been carrying a leg injury for much of the game. And okay. uh, he certainly doesn't have the opportunity of getting into the game out in the centre spot. He's still limping very heavily now. Right, across field it goes now, out to McNamara. Tries to um, get the pass away, can't do so. Back to Burke. He turns it back out to um, Hardy. And there's the end of six. A lot of quality in these uh, Quinella replacements. Um, young Lane, of course, is a player that has a big reputation. And as I said, similarly Hardy. But uh, possession of the ball now, and Penrith making another change. Brad War is off with Steve Martin coming on. Now, Martin is a prolific uh, try scorer, a player that's played a host of positions uh, with the Penrith Club, uh, going from the hooking spot back to lock and even out into the 5 8 spot in the last couple of years. And uh, certainly a try at this uh, stage of the game would really set these, uh, these Penrith Panthers and the fans alive. There is a chance here for uh, Tanala. Really danger there for uh, Penrith as. Uh Yes, well, I think once, possession. once Rogers knocked the ball down, of course, uh, I think it would have been pulled up. But uh, Penrith off the hook now and uh, caught an extra 10 metres for uh, back chatting. For back chatting. And uh, Levy would love to get a uh, fine touch up around the halfway mark. Levy finds touch. Martin to uh, take the tap. Now, the ball's out to Broman. But only one runner is Ivanovic. He's worked uh, his insides out out there this afternoon, both in attack and defence. Back out now to Zivanovic, as you mentioned. 
Mark and the dummy half. This fielder goes to uh, Flay, back to Platts, back to Flay. Here for uh, Penrith. Good run upfield by Martin. Martin, yes, he certainly set. Had the fans on their uh, their feet straight away. Okay, here's Hasler with the ball now. Last tackle against Penrith. Tuzer at dummy half. Broman. Long pass out to Levy. Levy turns it back inside to Martin. And Martin is eventually brought down. Time fast running out for uh, Penrith. They trail Canola by 13 points to 10. And we've just got over six minutes left of play in this match at Penrith Park. And of course at this stage, the experience of someone like Mark Levy is going to come to the fore because uh, trailing 13 points to 10, he has to inject himself into the play now at every opportunity. and. Uh, Throw caution to the wind as far as position of the play is concerned. Here's Ivanovic now. He turns it back to uh, Platts. Platts looks to offload, but there's nobody there. No, but they've got plenty of depth in attack here, and if they're prepared to turn and spin them all over wide, they have a chance. Broman now. Oh, well picked up by Flay. Just inside the uh, Canella side of the quarter. As himself, Flay. And he makes another three or four metres. Penrith on the attack. It's out for Levy. Broman. Turns it back to Hasler. Hasler tries to get the ball away. Back to Platts. Last tackle against Penrith. We could see the bomb here from Levy. Back to Levy. Back to Tuza. He can't get it away. It's the end of six. Well, possibly the bomb was on, but the uh, Cronulla defence, well organised, got into position quickly, covered the gaps, and uh, they got up pretty quickly and left uh, Levy little chance of putting that bomb up. Rob Lane <laughs> leads the uh, scrum. See, this will be a big scrum for uh, Penrith to win. And it's a Penrith to Pen. It's a penalty to Penrith. A penalty to Penrith. Yes, hands in the scrum. That was the ruling, and uh, another differential penalty. Probably not a great deal of advantage kicking for the line because uh, they're in a good position here, ten yards out, and. Uh, Attack either side of the field. Platts. Platts just going up on his own. No support and going up half pace. That'll never crack this uh, Cronulla defence. They've got to Tuzo. come onto the ball and they've got to come onto it hard. Hasman, he's a big man. Tuza. Hasler. Back to uh, Zabanovic. Hasler. Turn. Gets the ball away nicely there to um, Steve to Martin. Steve Martin. Tuzer, ball out to Hasler. Still going. Back to Tuzer. Broman. Back to Flay. The chance. Quick passing here to Zavanovic. Oh, he's smothered in the uh, tackle there by the Granola defence. A bit lucky too that Has uh, Izzard wasn't penalised for shepherding. Zavanovic. Gets the ball back to Flay. And he's brought down. Gee, and only just brought half down. out. <laughs> Last tackle. Can Penrith go in? To Broman. Long wide oh. throw back to his ad. Knocked it on. And he's picked it up by Fulton. But the referee will rule no try. Knock on, says referee Ward. And rightly so. Yes, it was a good looping cutout pass from Broman too. And it's one of the few mistakes that Izzard has made in the game. It would have been a dangerous situation if he hadn't been able to hold on to that pass. But he was under a lot of pressure from a Cronulla defence that spotted the danger and moved up very quickly. Possession again important, Graham. It certainly is, and Penrith have won this scrum. Hasler. Back out now to Levy. Turns it back to Platts. Platts still going. Over the top to Hasler. Picks it up well, but he... Gee, if I was looking for the McMahon, the winger. He'd uh, come over across into the centres because the gap was up on Martin. the side of the field. He's a metre short. Penrith right on the attack here. Hasler dummy half. The Broman tries to crash his way over but can't do so. Last tackle against Penrith. And we move well into the last five minutes. Two's are at dummy half. Back to Hasler. He turns it out to uh, 
Ivanovic in. He's got to be in. Now he's been held up over the line. Unable to ground the ball. Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's right, disappointing right. as far as the Penrith Panthers are concerned because they schemed well there to turn and get uh, Zivanovic in on that right-hand side. And uh, he stepped inside one Cronulla player and was able to get over the line, but then unfortunately couldn't force the ball. So Cronulla live again. It's 13 points to 10 yes. in favour of Cronulla. There it is. Dane Sorensen underneath. And, uh, Penalty. McNamara over the top. Yes, the penalty there to uh, Penrith. Incorrect feed against um, Lane, and so they take the tap here. Penrith Libby, uh, hopes live again. Is out this time. He's down 10 metres out from the line. Back now to Flay. Turns it back to McMahon. McMahon, he's still going, McMahon. Still going! But he's got nah. the corner post over, no try. Oh, dear. Action of plenty here at Penrith Park. There certainly is action of plenty. And of course, uh, you're looking at a bloke like McMahon who's relatively fresh being out on the wing. And uh, he certainly injected himself into the attack at the right time. But here he is going for the line. And uh, some good covering defence, wasn't it? And uh, just taken into touch. And Roland Beckett, I think, was the player that came in for that uh, last ditch effort. So, Canella in possession. And <laughs> I tell you what, they're going to make it very difficult too for Penrith now to get possession in these dying stages. Okay, Canella on the attack now as Hatch takes play up towards the halfway mark. Beckett now. It's out to, uh, to uh, Jarby and play just about right on the halfway mark. Lane back inside the Gardner. Gardner, he finds Lane again. Still going. Last tackle against Penella. Time running out for Penrith. They trail by three points. And Hardy in possession, and there's the end of six. There it is, full time at Penrith Park. And Penella have defeated Penrith by 13 points to 10.